Hi everyone, and welcome to Almost Cancelled. I'm Peter, and joining me is Mario. What's up, guys? And Connor. Hey, Rob. Let's talk about a new show for this week on the USA Network. It's the pilot for Colony, which uh, stars Josh Holloway and Sarah Wayne Callis, and um, uh, is co-created by Carlton Cuse, who worked on Lost, uh, which I really like. But he also co-created or co-ran uh, The Strain, which mm. I didn't like so much. So, uh, full spoilers for this, as always. Uh, we do full spoilers oh. for the shows we talk about. Um, so, Colony. Uh, basically, the idea is that aliens come down to the planet at some point and split up everyone into different colonies. Like, there's big walls. So, it's set in Los Angeles. And, there's a big, and you'll know the area, obviously, better than me, Mario, because you live there. But... You know, there's a wall going just past the Hollywood sign that, you know, separates Santa Monica, I think they say. Yeah, Santa there's, Monica. Yeah. That's where they're going through the pass. Yeah, yeah. Cause also he, at the end. Because the, the main family, you know, that Josh Holloway's, like, their son was, like, on the other side of that, like, border when the aliens came down. So they want to get him back. And uh, that's the gist of it. He tries to sneak over to get him back. He gets caught. And then shenanigans ensue. Actually, no, shenanigans don't ensue. That's probably my problem that, with the episode. That's, yeah. that's exactly zero shenanigans. <laughs> it's a lot of yeah. talking. It's so boring. It was pretty boring. Yep. That, that's, it's not even that it's bad, it's just boring. Yeah, I can of agree. Like, there was no actors that I thought were terrible or anything like that. Mm. No, none of the dialogue was actively like awful. Like The, the, the plot idea is fine. Yeah, and it, I mean, yeah the, the story itself, the setting itself, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but they just didn't really do anything with it. I mean, it, it's just it's just as generic as it gets. Is really the biggest problem. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like, yeah, because the 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 plot, the core idea, could have been good. Because there's a big reveal at the end, which I mean, full spoiler, so we can talk about it. But you know, the reveal at the end that, which I did call by the way. I thought it was pretty obvious. Yeah, uh, but the wife's actually part of this resistance. Who's fighting against the uh, the aliens and their their loyalists? I can't remember what they're called, but the people who you know the soldiers that police the everything. Red hats. The red hats, yes, the SS basically call them yeah. what they are. Um, and obviously, Josh Holloway's character makes a deal with them that he will hunt down the resistance if they give him his son back. Maybe yeah, basically yeah. help and get help to get his son back. Um, meanwhile, also giving them lots of luxuries that most people don't have anymore, like coffee and eggs and other bacon stuff. and whatnot yeah yeah um that's all fine like but i kind of I, I watch this and i'm like i can of see exactly where this is going for the most part like you know she's going to have this secret for a while then he's eventually going to find out but she's not going to wait to kill her husband she's actually i mean i'm guessing she's actually still a good person like and he's still a good person you'd assume so yeah and it's just going to end up like he's going to find the resistance and then help them basically is what i'm guessing is going to happen and yeah, he'll play a double agent for a bit. Yeah, he he'll yeah he'll end up being just another man in the inside essentially. Because at the minute she's playing the like she's she's using him as the man on the inside like but without him knowing it. Yeah. But it'll change to him knowing and doing it voluntarily about halfway I'd say. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Do we have anything else we want to say about this? Well, him being like this badass ex-military guy seemed very. Cliche and mm. just convenient. A little bit. I mean, I like the idea that the reason why he's such a rare breed is because they actually made a point of killing all the like the ex-military people when they landed, but he was able to hide. Like, I kind of like the idea that that's why he's such a valued commodity now. Is because oh shit, all the people with those like manhunting skills are all dead. Um, but then it does raise the question: like, can the aliens just manhunt? <laughs> I mean, it's just a thought. I mean, I, I, I don't know how this works, but you'd think they're not very like tactically smart aliens. If that's the like, they, they wall everyone off and then like give them a curfew, and mm. that's about it. They don't really know where to go from there. So it reminded me a little bit of actually *Fear the Walking Dead*. Hmm. Partly because what it's said, but also because it felt kind of like the second half of that first season where. They're in like their their neighborhood. Mm. They're all talking to each other. And this military groups around, and um, 
even though I don't remember them trading anything on Fear of the Walking Dead, like it's that felt kind of in line with it. Like the idea. It felt, of... it felt more like Fear of the Walking Dead meets um, Man in the High Castle. Hmm. So, bland meets bland. That's what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Equals bland. The blender. Yeah. I don't know. I just I feel like I wanted to like this because the ideas could be really good. That's, that's exactly how I felt about Man in the High Castle. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, think, I think that one at least had a, a couple of more interesting things going for it. Oh, it did. It did. Oh, there's more. There, I enjoyed it's, that more. For just... sure. No. Because this one had like an extra like seven or eight minutes compared to the regular like forty-two that you get, and it felt really long because of that. Mm. I don't. Not just because of that, but it felt really long. Yeah, I was kind of getting that as well. Yep. I really don't have much more to add. I mean, the the characters are all pretty bog standard. Like, there's nothing that really makes any of them stand out. Um. I I think it's really hard to talk in depth about something that's bland and just kind of meh. It's not bad. It's not terrible. But it's not good. Nor great. It's just in the middle. Besides, just don't watch it. <laughs> Basically, don't, re- don't recommend it. Don't check it out. It's not worth your time. It's the sort of thing where if it gets to like the end of the season, I hear it really picked up and got a lot better. Then maybe I'll check it out. Yeah, I mean, and, if they, they get through their, it, if they get their act together and make it interesting, I mean, there's enough there that if someone competent gets on and makes something yeah. with it, it could be good. Uh, but as it sits, it's, it's not good at all. I think we were hoping that since USA got its acting gear last summer and gave us Mr. Robot that we were like, oh, we'll try new uh, USA shows now. Um, and this one just kind of... Lightning's not going to strike twice, is it? Uh, they can't They can't all be uh, new favourite shows, can they? No. They he... could be all better than this. Well, the thing if it, if it was, then it needs to be that high because that's a really fucking high bar. Yeah, that's a, that's a really high bar. Um, but if, like, it's, like, I'd much rather watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., for example. Oh, yeah, it's easy. way better than this. But if it was like somewhere along that level, we would have, I would have been perfectly happy with that too. But it's not even that. Yeah. yeah. Or even something like, I don't know, a zombie level. Or, you know, like... Supergirl, or just something that's like, like it's consistently good. Might not be great or amazing, but it's just good. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I, yeah. All right, so that's Colony, and we are all thoroughly, like... I feel like everything else that we're reviewing this week... Because we're doing those three shows this week. I feel like this one's bang on the middle and it's just sort of meh and we're all meh and we don't know what to say. And then the other two we're both going to be very passionate about on both ends of the spectrum. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's uh, the pilot for Colony. I would not expect us to be covering episode two because other shows are back next week. And uh, if I didn't we, say... <laughs> our time is gone again. Yeah. If I didn't say meh, and bland enough in the past five minutes. I will say them once more. Meh. And bland. Just totally arc. passable. <laughs> Gert <Arc. laughs> Wrong show, Mario. <laughs> <laughs>